What's up guys? Back here again. I wanted to make another video about this Cowboys 49ers wild card game. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, January 18th. The game was on Sunday. And I'm still not over it. I'm still as disappointed now as I was on a Sunday. And I'm so disappointed because these guys are still blaming the referees. These guys are pushing, putting blame on the referees. Um, people in the media, like Skip, I watch Skip Bayless every morning. I watched him this morning and he was talking, still talking about the referees. And, you know, fans are still talking about the referee at the, at the end of the game with that last play. But the thing is, we shouldn't have had even been in that position to begin with. If we had handled our business the way we were supposed to, we would have easily won that game. And it wouldn't even have to come down to the last play. The 49ers are not that good. Jimmy Garoppolo is not that good. Yes, Debo is a beast. Kyle Shanahan is a good play caller. But the 49ers could have been beat. The problem that I have is how flat we came out at the beginning of the game there was no excuse for us to come out as lifeless as we did <clears throat> it took us out of three quarters we only had seven points Dak Prescott did not look good at all on Sunday Majority of his throws were bad. The offensive line didn't look good. He didn't really have a lot of time to throw on some of those throws. A lot of time, he just looked like he was a deer in headlights, just you know, just running around. And when he threw the ball, it wasn't it wasn't where it was supposed to be. He just didn't show up. Nobody showed up, and that's my big. That's my biggest problem with that game on Sunday. Nobody showed up. This is a playoff game. This is win or go home. You're a favorite at home. You have over 90,000 people coming to see you play. You have millions of Cowboys fans at home watching you play. And that's what you put out there. That's how you come out. The fans were more excited about the game than it seemed like the players were. That's my that's my whole issue. My whole issue is what we did the majority of the game. What we did those first three quarters. We didn't do anything. And then we come and try to play catch up in the fourth quarter and expect things to go right. That's not how it works. And you don't get any props from me and you don't get any, oh man, if, if the referee didn't mess up on that last play, we would have had a chance, we would have won a game. No, we shouldn't have been in that position anyways. We should have did what we were supposed to do the first three quarters and had the game in control in the fourth quarter, not playing catch up in the fourth quarter. And we have a quarterback and I, I, used to ignore what people said about Dak. I used to not feed into what people said about Dak. I used to feel like people overly criticized Dak. I used to feel like people was a little bit too hard on Dak. But after what he did on Sunday, I'm starting to come around and say the same thing. Dak is an average quarterback. And it's sad to say, 
because I like I like how Dak carries himself. I feel like Dak is a leader. I saw what he I saw what the team looked like last year without Dak, and it didn't look good. I was sad when Dak got hurt last year. I was one of the people that was saying, pay Dak, give him the money that he wants. And after what he did this year, I can't vouch for him anymore. I'm disappointed in how Dak has played this year, but specifically in this game against the 49ers. He did not show up. He did not put the team on his back. He did not make the big throws when we needed him to make it. He made a bonehead decision at the end of the play, at the end of the, at the, end of the game, not handing the ball off to the referee. And I personally didn't like the quarterback sneak anyways. You running a quarterback sneak go has more cons than pros. You don't have any timeouts. There's a lot of factors that happen when you run a quarterback sneak. You have to hurry up, run a sneak, 